I think the guards sort of found out quite ironic because we'd gone from being into manufacture of drugs into manufacturing yogurt. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wal. Hi, I'm Dylan. And uh, once upon a time, we were known as the Yogurt Mafia. Even though it's, jail's not that difficult, everything's taken away from you. You know, I mean, your fucking dignity gets taken away from your first day. Mm. You know, and they fucking get you to sit there and just strip you down and fucking right squat. I mean, fuck, it's just removed, you know. All rights removed. Tried to avoid thinking about the outside world as much as possible and just, you know, so I think that's what you said to me the first time when we come in, you know. Mm. Try to let it, you know, you just got to keep your head inside the wire, you know, and get yourself to keep busy, you know. Start thinking about the outside world too much, your time drags, you know. Heavily, you know, I was into other stuff, but for, like I sort of tried meth and I'd use it occasionally, but heavily, you know, using, you know, most days, and that probably when I was about 25 or something like that, maybe 26, you know, all the time, and, you know, he starts to, yeah, do it more and more often, and the weekends turn into the weeks. And to be honest, I actually got curious about most things. <laughs> yeah, and um, I didn't actually realise that it was possibly an escape uh, from whatever the life was. But I look back and looking back now, I know that now you use it just as a survival mechanism, whatever. But at the time, I thought it was just a good time and what have you. So yeah, I'd try anything and everything just to <laughs> find the joy somewhere, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, the best way to describe growing up for me would be, um, how would you say? One two worries would make it be an understatement for me. That would, that was a, that would be a f low key. Um, you know, like, for me, growing up, I sort of, I grew up in a small sort of surf town, I guess. You know, real, um, I suppose, dysfunctional. My parents are pretty dysfunctional. You know, and there wasn't no violence or anything like that, but there's definitely a. Uh, a lot of infidelity and um, uh, substance abuse, I guess. You're forced into supplying it because you can't facilitate it. No, I mean, no one's ways can really facilitate the cost, you know, so you kind of invariably no, doing crime, become, no. become a drug dealer. Seeing it done once, I said, I can do that. <laughs> Literally, he said exactly. I get down. And uh, yeah, consequently, uh, yeah. yeah it turned out I could. <laughs> this thing just snowballed so, so fast, though, too. You know, even, yeah. Went downhill pretty quick. On Sundays, you used to get locked up whilst the visits were on. So anyone that wasn't getting visits had to stay in their cell whilst other people got visits. I was watching TV and, and I was just, just so happened to be uh, River Cottage, Escapes River Cottage, like the very first series. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own yoghurt. Boiling the milk kills off any unwanted bacteria. And um, yeah, he, um, he just showed how yoghurt was made, which I didn't actually know was how it was done. And of course it intrigued me. I thought, well, he's doing it. Of course I can do it. So. That became my sole mission. <laughs> the only thing you really need to obtain is the actual culture itself, you know. What I learned from that program was that yogurt makes yogurt. We just used what we had, which wasn't much. <laughs> just a microwave and milk cartons. That's really all there was. Um, thermometer, or thermo finger, shall yeah, we yeah. say, thermo finger. Um, <laughs> And yeah, to be fair, you got nothing. You know, I mean, you really, you really, you got nothing. <laughs> we just got to work with what you've got. So we, what we did was we incubated the yogurt on the um, heater pipes to, to develop the culture. So within 24 hours, we had yogurt. So I mean, <laughs> simple as that. Uh, yoga became real popular I, 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 pretty much day one. I, I, I mean, to be fair, I was quite proud of my opinion to spread it around. <laughs> Granted, I mean, and of course, consequently, everyone went, what, what, you're doing it, how do we do it? So, we, so, so then it became like workshops. <laughs> workshop, full demonstration at the microwave. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing how many people could do it, how many people get it right. Oh yeah, <laughs> incredible, but, but exactly, there was four workshops. There were multiple people all standing there, all doing the same thing. So what are we doing? Thanks, yeah. 
literally went viral straight off the bat. And it, somehow it traveled from units to unit to unit, and then traveled from prison to prison to prison. The guards sort of found out quite ironic because we'd gone from being into manufacture of drugs into manufacturing yogurt. We'd come like, that's how fast. It was, you know, it was quite weird. It was like, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, there's kind of a parallel there somewhere, I think, you know, but I'm <laughs> What we're doing was a, a sort of a taking the power back a little bit. <laughs> you know, you've got control of everything else in, in regards, but you know, we sort of wrestled some control back. At least we could, you know, decide what we ate in a way. I find, for me personally, I found myself that was all I really thought about. In some regards, it gives you, you know, for a start, you know, it satisfies a hunger or something nice, different to eat. <laughs> you know, it was, a, it was a part of my routine, which sort of kept me sane in a way. You know, I had a routine. I trained every day. I was talking stuff. I worked in the bush and you just come and go, you wear our own little bubble, eh? Yeah, I'd say probably, you know, I mean, a good 30 of your time was pretty much focused on how to develop a new recipe or something like that. Definitely feels like an achievement, I tell you, when you, when you do it, especially in a place like that. You know, you're in a place like that where you shouldn't really be able to achieve fuck all, I mean, really, where you really get skilled at is playing poker and Scrabble, <laughs> you know, because that's pretty much all you do, and there really is poker and Scrabble or something. But, um, you know, in a place like that where, we don't, where everything's limited, you know, so, you, so you'll be able to achieve that there, it's, just, it's even a bigger, it's even a bigger thumbs up, right, you know, so, mm. you know. Hey guys, hey, you know, you. how's it going? Not too bad. <laughs> so my name is Wall, short for Wallace. Okay, so you must be Dylan. Yeah, that's right, correct. <laughs> Tell me your story, guys. I mean, this is this is great. I've heard a little bit about it, but I, I want to hear it from you. How did this start? Okay. Um, well, it probably comes back to me, really. Um, I, I've sort of been watching your, you know, the Escape to River Cottage when that first came out, that, the first series, you know. And I kind of um, like your uh, the way you do that subsistence living and that kind of carry on. So then I've just, just followed everything you've done, really. And then one day we're... Um, Locked up in our cells, and we're because we're actually neighbours, so side by side, and and um, I saw how you how yogurt was made, and I didn't actually know that how it was that's how it was done. You know, the yogurt will turn convert the milk into yogurt. So, and I thought, well, you know what, I can do that. <laughs> so, then it just went from there. I mean, you definitely say you're responsible for teaching a hell of a lot of people to make yogurt because it's spread for your throughout New Zealand uh, prison population pretty quick. So. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, it, 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 went, serious. it went nationwide. <laughs> I, I kid you not. This thing went. No way. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joking. One end to the other, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not joking. People were smuggling the culture <laughs> from the top to the bottom of the country, and then they were getting yeah. through this. I'm not joking. No, I kid you not. <laughs> it's an absolute true story. This wasn't just you and a few of your mates in your particular prison. This was. Started, this was. Yeah, yeah. They just got. Huge. Yeah, it started like that, but then what happened was that because people saw us with it, I ended up doing workshops based on <laughs> based on what you showed me. So they had a whole bunch of people doing it. So we showed heaps of people do it, and it just it just went it went crazy, like straight from from where go. I have to say, to me, yogurt doesn't like immediately spring to mind <laughs> as the thing that's gonna really kind of make your life inside more exciting but of course it, it has got a tang to it and maybe it's also got that feeling that it's doing you a little bit of good you know we flavored it too you know we were doing apricots in it and stuff you know you know dried apricots everything so you know you had sweetened or unsweetened yogurt you know whatever you like and plus i mean it's natural yeah. um you know I, mean, I actually did miss yogurt because i'm a bit of a yogurt fiend to be fair you know i mean i'm i eat yeah lots of yogurt actually but um yeah uh, i it was just so simple in its essence, I thought, well, you know, wait, why not? <laughs> Let's give it a go. Well, you weren't breaking any prison rules to create this yoghurt, right? You, no, nobody was trying to stop you doing it in the end. No, not really. I mean, it was, it was a rule. It probably was. If, if you looked in the books, it probably was a rule against it. But, you know, they were, it's a, you know, as rules go, it was in the bad and the break, is it? Yeah, but we never really got pulled up on it. So we did not, we're none the wiser. So, like, if, no, we never got in trouble for it. The corrections officers used to see us making it. They'd try it. They'd even try it. I mean, you know, they, they, they were quite blown away by the whole thing. They'd look at it and go, where'd you learn that from? So, River Cottage. <laughs> River Cottage, Phil. <Yeah. laughs> it definitely become a commodity as like barter, you know. You, you, know, you have a nice yogurt, you, you, know, you could definitely bar, swap something on chicken for it or something, you know, like roast chicken or whatever yeah, for a good yogurt. So. And did making the yogurt have a bit of that element to it as well, that it made you feel you were getting 
you're you're getting outside that routine of prison life. Well, it gives you a, a sense of control. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, exactly what that does. So, so just like you say, you got to make something that was for you. You know, you and I, I, to be fair too, they tolerated it. it. Sort of was sort of slightly outside their rules, but they didn't mind as long as you weren't causing a commotion. I'm sure if we were bad inmates, they would probably yeah, huh. clamp down on you, but. They didn't mind so much either because it kept everyone in harmony, you know. So, so it's one of those things, you know. It's very, very satisfying, sort of a well for me personally. I find it very sort of satisfying anyway, just to make that to, to eat it, you know. It makes me feel quite emotional when you say that actually. That it may maybe it was actually making a a real difference to you and and to other people. Do you think the fact that it caught on in other prisons and became like a thing was to do with this idea that it gave you something that you could control that added an extra dimension to your life that wasn't prescribed meant you were more than more than just a number if you like yeah, that's I reckon that's 100 on the money that's, that's bang on that's exactly what it and that's exactly that, that that what you just that statement exactly reflects the feeling you had i had personally anyway um that's 100 it yeah. yeah it's a luxury that you had control over it. and of course another another sort of fermentation skill if you like that i know uh, obviously gets inevitably gets tried uh, from time <laughs> to time is trying to make some beer or wine out of food scraps and stuff like that. Did you give that a go? Because that can be a slightly dangerous game as well. I don't think we're willing to risk our yogurt just for the sake of getting a drink on some <laughs> home brew, really. <laughs> I'd much rather have yogurt than the home brew. Let's make a deal. If, if, I, if I make it to New Zealand, which I haven't yet, and I'm sure I would find all sorts of river cottage type adventures. So if that happens, then let's get together. Let's, let's go for a walk out in the wild and uh, have a catch up. But the return deal, if ever you come over to the UK, come to River Cottage HQ and see what we're up to and we'll sit down over a beer, but I'll get some homemade yogurt on the go. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. That sounds great. <laughs> That'd be awesome, Hugh. That'd be absolutely 100 I'll lock that in. One, one, lock it in, Eddie. Lock it in. <laughs> <laughs>